JB is here with us in the Studio 57 to talk about this. Of course, James Brown is a CBS News special correspondent. He's also the host of the NFL Today on CBS and inside the NFL on Paramount+. Plus. Uh, so, JB, we were talking about this on CBS Mornings, but just give our viewers a little insight into who DeMar Hamlin is just as a human being. Which is the most appropriate way to start because it is about him totally. Good young man. Uh, the description given by the Bills, good kid, hardworking, earned his way into a starting position this year after playing about 14 games prior to, excellent college player. Everything said about him by everyone is that he is the model young man and engaged in charitable work as well, too. I'm certain you guys know already um, that the fundraiser that he had while he was in college to raise money to buy toys for kids mm -hmm. to uh, be donated yep. to a um, daycare averaged around $60,000. He was most appreciative to show you how well-respected he is. It's in excess of $3 million from around the country. Mm. Um, mm. So I know that when I watched the video, I, I wasn't aware of how, um, how much damage perhaps had been done mm -hmm. until I saw the faces of the other players, players crying. Mm -hmm. um, when you watched the game, were you aware of how bad this was going? Judging by what you just said, yeah. Vlad references other um, co-anchor uh, Nate Burleson. The players are accustomed to knowing the game is a game of injuries. Yeah. And they have learned to move past that as long as they know that their brethren, be they on the team or the opposition, are okay. And typically the sign when a player is being taken off of the field on the cart, the player will give a thumbs up. Mm. That's a signal to the rest of the fraternity, if you will. It's all good. Go ahead and play. This time to a man on the field. You saw deep concern. You saw tears. You saw palpable concern. And that was the appropriate reaction and also decision being made. Yeah. So, JB, let's talk about that decision. And we, uh, you and I spoke about it uh, earlier this morning. You know, there was some online criticism about how the league handled it. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it it's unprecedented we were saying this earlier this has never happened before we've never seen anything like this to the extent of this injury um and there are so many factors that go into how something like this rolls out especially if you've never dealt with it before there are broadcasting issues to take into consideration the the league has to take something into consideration the teams uh the advertisers the uh, there's a myriad of of decisions that need to be made, um, how does it play out generally? And thank you for mentioning all of those elements. Those are real, those are true. But the league got it right with respect to having the most important assistance ready, the medical team. Right. They responded immediately because the young man's heart did stop. Clearly that means get him back in order as quickly as possible. They got the heartbeat restored within minutes less than that from what I understand, and all of the other supporting uh, medical support. That's what was most important. To the league's credit, one of the things that they've done, whenever they've seen an area that comes up, because this is still a very fluid situation, with respect to player safety, mm -hmm. and they've got a zillion and one rules in place, they've got penalties in place to get the bad characters out of the game. And also, a little bit of an esoteric thing here, but when you're tackling, you don't tackle with the head, you get tossed out of the game for that. You tackle with your head up and to the side. That's called getting the head out of the game, mm -hmm. heads up tackling. So they've done a number of things, but that play wasn't even one where there was a violation or a penalty. Mm. That was, if you will, a freak play. So then can we take this conversation sort of 30,000 mm -hmm. feet up? And I know people love football, but mm -hmm. I just kept yeah. on thinking, this is a dangerous game. Yep. Mm -hmm. And these athletes are bigger, they're faster. You can have as much high-tech protective equipment on as possible and medical teams at the ready. But is this game just getting too dangerous? Believe it or not, with respect to concussions, there's been an approximate 30% reduction in concussions in the game of football mm. since the league has been extremely focused, putting millions into equipment safety, helmet research. Mm -hmm. Helmets, as I understand from the doctors, will not totally eliminate concussions because anytime the cranium is moving, you know, like mm -hmm. that, it, it's, it's going to be a challenge but a 30% reduction, and they're doing more. They've even outlawed, they being the league, they've outlawed certain manufacturers because they don't meet the standards. Mm. But to your point, 
it is still a physical game, not unlike boxing, uh, not unlike rugby, mm -hmm. uh, even baseball because of how fast and hard they're throwing the ball. So there's some inherent danger, but you try to minimize it as much as possible because, yeah. quite frankly, with respect to football in particular, um, the safety is paramount importance. And while we know Vlad is going to be an awesome dad, mm -hmm. guess who makes the decision about whether or not that child is going to play as a youngster? Moms. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, I, I will say one of the things that Dr. Agus told us uh, on CBS Mornings is that these injuries are very rare, but they do happen. And he's seen them in children, children who get hit by soccer balls yeah. mm -hmm. or yeah. children who oh, get yeah. hit by baseballs yeah. in Little League where uh, if, you know, and again, he was speculating, but mm -hmm. his heart stopping like that, you can receive a shock to the chest mm -hmm. that stops the heart. And as you pointed out, JB, the medical professionals there were able to resuscitate him as far as we get his heart going again. Mm -hmm. And we'll see, hopefully, that gets him out of the woods. And that's why we are most and solely and principally focused on the young man, uh, Mr. Hamlin. We want to see him, Damar Hamlin, to get back to full health and a normal life. We'll see what happens in the world of football. But that is the focus, and I'm so happy to see universally, pretty much, you're seeing that's the case with reactions around the country. Yeah, definitely mm -hmm. true. Uh, JB, always great having you. Thank okay. you so much. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm.